Are you having trouble with moles? Let me talk to you about moles and the Avogadro number. Now when I talk to you about a dozen eggs or a dozen pencils, you know I'm talking about 12 units. Likewise, a mole is a unit that is very useful in chemistry because a mole of an element contains 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 atoms. Now I suppose we could talk about a mole of pencils, but in practical terms it's not useful because it's hard to imagine 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 pencils, you wouldn't know what to do with it or where to store it. But in chemistry, a mole of iron or a mole of magnesium or a mole of uh, helium makes perfect sense. So one mole of iron has 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 atoms, which we refer to as an Avogadro number of atoms. A mole of uh, magnesium, likewise, has 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 atoms, uh, which we refer to as an Avogadro number of atoms. Now even though one mole of iron and one mole of uh, magnesium have the same number of atoms, they don't have the same mass because they are different elements. So to find the mass of one mole of these elements, you have to go to the periodic table of elements and look up their atomic mass. And when you look at the atomic mass for iron, it is 55.8, so the gram atomic mass of iron is 55.8, and the gram atomic mass of magnesium is 24.3 grams. <clears throat> now, so if you have a question that asks how many atoms are in 20 grams of iron, you know that 55.8 grams has 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23, so you could calculate the number. Or if you are asked uh, how many atoms are in 0.35 moles of iron, you take 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 and multiply it by 0.35. So you can go back and forth between mole and the number of atoms and the gram atomic mass by doing simple arithmetic. Uh, if you want to know uh, how many atoms are in 10 moles of magnesium, you take 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 and multiply it by 10. If you want to know what is the gram atomic mass of 10 moles of magnesium, you take 24.3 and multiply it by 10. So you can go back and forth. Now you know that there is the ideal gas law, which is written as PV equals n r t, where n is the number of moles, r is the ideal gas constant, and t is the temperature in degrees Kelvin. So, uh, now, uh, if you express the, um, the uh, temperature uh, if you consider the temperature to be zero degrees Celsius and the pressure to be one atmosphere, which we uh, consider the standard temperature and pressure, then using that equation, you can calculate that one mole of any gas would occupy 22.4 liters. So, if we are talking about gases, then this relationship between the mole and the Avogadro number and the gram atomic mass and all this can also give us the volume, so long as we are talking about standard temperature and pressure, 
that is the temperature being at zero degrees Celsius uh, and the pressure being one atmosphere. So that is how you deal with molds.